Hello, my sleepy time friends. Are you ready for another exciting bedtime Bible story? <laughs> I hope so. We have been learning all about God's people and how God led them out of the land of Egypt, away from that mean King Pharaoh, through the wilderness to the new land that God had promised to give them. In our story tonight, they have finally reached the promised land. But their leader, Moses, had died, and so now Joshua was in command. And as they entered the promised land, uh-oh, there was a problem. The city of Jericho stood in their way, and it had huge stone walls built all around it. What were they to do? How were they to get through that big city? Well, God had a plan. Let's read about our story tonight. It's from the Bible book called Joshua, chapters 1 through 6. And our story is called, The Walls Fall Down. The Israelites came to the promised land. A man named Joshua was now in command. The first thing they saw in the valley below was a pretty little town called Jericho. God told Joshua, there's something you should know. It's all about the city called Jericho. The people there are wicked, so I'm giving you their town. But you won't get in till the walls come down. God told Joshua exactly what to do. He told him to tell all the people, too. So early in the morning, at the break of day, the people and Joshua started on their way. First came some soldiers leading the way. Then came the priests with trumpets to play. Next came the Ark of God with priests all around. And last came the rear guard, but no one made a sound. All around the city, the priests and soldiers walked, but everyone was quiet. No one even talked. The trumpets gave a blast the seventh time around. Then the people all shouted and the walls fell down. <laughs> I love that story. And it's true. So God gave them a quite a strange plan to conquer the city of Jericho. He just wanted them to march around the city seven times quietly and then when they were finished after the seventh time they were to blow their trumpets and shout that's a strange plan but you know what the people trusted god and they obeyed him that's what god wanted and god made sure that those walls came tumbling down <laughs> didn't he we can trust god he just wants us to obey him to trust him and obey him <laughs> it's an easy thing to do because he is a good and loving God and he loves you very much. So do your best to trust and obey, okay? Good. <laughs> May God bless you and keep you, my friend. Now you snuggle in, all right? Snuggle in, turn off the light. Now it's time to say good night. God will keep you in his care. Remember, he is always there. Sleep tight. Good night.